Hi, Intuitive D1111 here. Deanna here. Thank you guys so much for being a part of our Diamond Star Seed family, y'all. If you want to win a mini reading, all you have to do is subscribe to my YouTube channel, like a recent video you enjoy, leave me a comment. Um, also, if you subscribe and hit the notification bell, you'll be the first to know when I upload. So y'all, <laughs> it's, it's never a, a dull day. Okay, so listen, you have multiple people, okay? For some of you, it's multiple. For some of you, it's just one main person. Um, but with the King of Swords, the Four of Wands, and the King of Pentacles, those are like two different energies that, you know, you could have been in a relationship with. Some of you, you were married to or are married to. Or for some of you, you were supposed to have some type of higher level soulmate or twin flame reunion with these people. These are people that um, you've dated. And they see longevity with you. And for whatever reason, with the Five of Pentacles, they are really feeling left out in the cold. I mean, this Mercury retrograde has brought back people, I mean, way from the past, from like years ago for me personally. And that's a no. But <laughs> somebody here, I mean, starting off with the first card of Seven of Swords here. Y'all, I feel like, listen to your intuition when somebody spins the block. Because... I don't like that the seven of swords is the first card out. Okay. That shows me that this is somebody here that definitely could have lied. They could have cheated. Okay. They could have betrayed your trust with the 10 of swords. I feel like this is somebody here also that could be involved with some nefarious energies or people that are very hostile and that, you know, are against you or your partnership. Um, but this also is the type of energy of somebody coming back and wanting to tell you half truths, okay? And it's, I also feel like somebody is trying to sneak away from another situation. So I feel like, you know, with the high priest or high priestess here, I definitely feel like you guys are very intuitive. So you already, you know, you already can feel what's up. But I feel like what's happening here is like somebody here, I don't know. It's like they're about to get caught for something is what I'm getting. I mean, the seven of swords, the high priestess, I don't like that combination typically because to me, that's like the high priestess in reverse. That's like somebody um, that is, that could also be somebody connected to your person or somebody in your energy that's trying to... Um, you know, do some type of dark energy work as well. And I feel like with the world card here, it's like somebody is so upset that you're successful. And then you have exes that are so upset that you finally have accepted, you know, and given yourself closure and that, you know, you're just focusing on your life here. I mean, I feel like you guys are closing out major cycles, right? And for some of you, it's like these people could have left you for dead. You know what I'm saying? Like they went on about their life and they didn't care at all how you felt. And I feel like you guys literally like a phoenix, you rose from the ashes, right? And I feel like you guys are entering a new level of success here. And I feel someone else knows that and they can feel that. And it's like... They don't want to let you go. And then they have somebody over here. I mean, Karmisha flew out in reverse. So if Karmisha or Kwan wasn't bad enough before, now when they in reverse, that means they unhinged. <laughs> okay. Somebody ain't trying to deal with this unhinged energy. Okay. For some of you, you could have been dealing with um, somebody that was connected with a third party that very well... Um, could do some type of dark energy work. Okay. They could do some type of spell work. They could do some type of voodoo. They could, you know, um, be prevalent in the occult. Okay. Um, and for some of you with the seven of swords, it's secretly. Okay. Um, so these could be people that even come off as religious, or these could be people, you know, that come off as love and light, but whoever this person is, this person has been targeting you. OK, because this person is upset that their person doesn't love you. I mean, doesn't love them the way that your person loves you. OK, and they feel like this person is just itching. I don't know why I said itching. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, no. Maybe somebody is itching. Y'all. Hell no. Somebody's a dirty bird. Don't do it. But they know this person is like 
anxious to get back towards you, okay? So I feel like whatever type of spell work that somebody has done, if they have done it or just sending you negative energy all day, it's like that shit backfired. I feel like this person could be a wreck. Somebody here could wear a lot of makeup, right? Somebody here, you know, they could be an alcoholic or they could have other type of addictions. Um, I just feel like somebody's deception is being exposed here. And I feel like your person is very intuitive. And I feel like they're realizing, especially over here with real estate and, um, and this is this is this weird how these cards came out. So let's just get into what the combinations could be. But with real estate, wealth, investment, mega project and hate, catastrophe, misfortune, um, you know, somebody could have worked together with somebody else to try to take something from you. OK, so maybe they were trying to harm your stability or block your finances Um but I also am getting the energy that two people could have came together to try to literally do spell work to to take your person's inheritance if they felt like they were abundant. OK, or they came from, you know, generational wealth. Right. Um, I also feel like somebody very well could have, you know, um, did some type of binding work on somebody to get them to invest into them and into some type of property or some type of business here. Okay. Um, somebody even, somebody even could be a real estate agent here, you know, just take it as it resonates or they know different They're or they're proficient in like real estate or they're, I'm hearing insurance. Maybe they're proficient in insurance. Maybe they're proficient in, um, in, in tax laws and different things like that. So I feel like somebody definitely had a scheme here. Okay. They had a scheme and it looks like it involved, taking something from your person if you know that your person might possibly have that okay um now with sweetheart trap and death i feel like they knew that this person really loves you okay they know that you have pure unconditional love for this person okay um and i feel like this is somebody here with victim allure trick i feel like they definitely tempted this person to end something with you and it all is stemming back to the first card out being the strongest. It was over money. Okay. So this person could have even worked together with relatives I'm hearing. So maybe they worked together. Um, I don't know, with like a mother figure as well. If they did work together with a mother figure that, and they do spell work, most likely that mother figure does spell work too. Okay. So I'm, and if it's not that for some of you guys, it could just be family, or just uh, there's at least two people that were working together, though, OK, to either try to take something from you, whether it was physical inheritance or spiritual inheritance or to take something from your person here. OK, and it's like they were trying to they wanted to end. They wanted to end something for you. They wanted to end your connection with your person. OK, Ultimately, some of you guys with the death with this death card and this um, curse card here, they could have even been doing some type of death magic. OK, as well, like somebody really could have tried to take you all the way out because they felt you were interfering with their money or what they were trying to receive. OK, or someone could have even taken something from you and then they could have resorted to some type of paying somebody to do some type of spell work if they didn't know how to do it themselves. OK, to put an end to you so that you wouldn't speak about it or get justice for your situation, regardless of whatever someone tried to do, they're very upset. And I feel like whatever they were trying to do with that spell work, I feel like it backfired because somebody else could have passed away that's around them. Or that's something that is, unfortunately, you know, the energy has to be transferred somewhere, right? And the angels are intercepting that away from you, you know, because it's like uh, somebody is upset that you're still blessed, Okay, this is fulfillment, well-being, enlightenment. Somebody doesn't understand how it is that you keep getting out of whatever traps it is that they're setting for you. Or they don't understand why it is that all their spell work, you know, to keep somebody away from you doesn't erase the fact that they love you. So somebody is jealous of the loving, spiritual, intuitive, psychic connection that you have with somebody. That's what it is. And somebody is upset. Because they feel like this person, someone feels like someone puts the other one on a pedestal. And this karmic third party feels like they just, 
they can't, I'm going to be honest, they can't stand y'all. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that's what it is. This karmic third party is filled with a lot of hate. This is somebody that flies off the handle. This is somebody here um, who, for some of you, unfortunately, your person has possibly abused this karmic, some of you even physically. Uh, but this is somebody that is so upset because they're watching you with stalking your social media there. They're watching you. They're seeing that you're blessed. They're seeing that you're triumphant. You know, they're seeing that, you know, whatever it is that you're doing, even if you don't have social media, you know, they they're getting information about you. Maybe they're paying readers and they're just so upset that you're in this blessed energy and whatever they're doing, um, you know, with these dark entities to try to come against you because, you know, that's what's happening. Right. This dark entities that they're dealing with. Um, you know, the dark entities, they understand that there is a hierarchy. You see what I'm saying? And when they know that you're anointed and you are um, protected by the most high, you know, they already know that uh, they're about to be redirected right back to whoever was doing the spell work. Somebody could have even been using graveyard dirt or doing some type of necromancy as well. Like somebody here is unhinged and all the spell work or all just the negative thoughts and negative energy they're sending towards you is making somebody lose their damn mind. That's what I'm seeing here because you're because you're a great person. Okay. Because you care about humanity, because you take time to pray and to meditate. And I feel like somebody here is just so upset and jealous. Like, who is this? Like, it's, it's just crazy to me. Yeah, y'all, this person, I'm trying to tell you, Karmisha or Kwan is unhinged, baby. They stalking your social media, okay? You know, for some of you, if you have it, you know, trying to drive by your house or trying to get your location, okay? I feel like somebody here y'all no wonder your person trying to get the hell away from them like what is this i feel like somebody is waking up to the fact that they were under some type of manipulation and not ending things for good long time ago with somebody with the ten of swords and the eight of cups it's like there could have been some type of last straw that sent somebody's person over the edge right and with the eight of cups here i feel like you guys have already left the scene right um, and I feel like this person feels betrayed. Okay. They feel very hurt. They could be grieving some type of ending or loss here. Okay. With the seven of swords here. Yeah. Somebody walked away from a situation that was very deceptive. Okay. And I feel like somebody here is going through a tower moment with the six of cups reverse is somebody that your person's been dealing with for the past six months or is somebody, um, yeah, from their past. And it's like they have nothing but bad memories with this person. They're they're done, right? Somebody here doesn't want to heal. They don't want to heal their inner childhood wounds. They don't want to elevate here. Somebody is also very childish. And then not only that, it's like somebody here very well could be investigated for doing something that they shouldn't have been doing. Okay, somebody is in despair about that. It's like they are regretting their decision and whatever they've been doing, okay? The grass wasn't greener on the other side. It was fake. And if it's not an investigation for some of you guys, it very well could just be that they found something out. Maybe they found the karmic third party was cheating on them, right? Um, whatever it is, though, somebody is really af afraid of being in jail, okay? Going to jail. They, someone could already be in jail, or they're just tired of feeling trapped in a situation, okay? And somebody here, you know, could feel like someone that they were intimate with, um... You know, it's like they felt binded to that situation. They had some type of unhealthy tie to this person. They're trying to break free from that. So, yeah, with the King of Swords and the Four of Wands, I feel like somebody is trying to think logically, okay, about how they can keep their foundation together. But at the same time, it's like they're losing money in whatever commitment that they're in. For some of you, these this could even be two masculine energies that are fighting within a home, okay? Somebody could be bisexual or same sex as well, too. I definitely am seeing that here. But they're fighting over money here. Yeah, we got somebody's divine masculine here. Okay. Or her divine counterpart that's crying. Yeah, but boss CEO owner in reverse, it's like either they're realizing that they're getting caught up because they were doing something shady to make money. Or, you know, they're upset at somebody that they were working for. OK, or they're upset because they got tempted and caught up with somebody that was a damn sexy demon. <laughs> OK, 
okay? And they feel it haunted. They they shook. They sleep it with the lights on, right? The page of wands in reverse, it's like somebody is not getting good news, okay? Somebody is not talking to somebody that is an F-boy or an F-girl that's been inconsistent, someone that's been reckless, somebody that has been a player, okay? I feel like somebody could be ending something with someone as well because the page of wands is actually a child in tarot. So with it in reverse, maybe someone realized that somebody stepped out on them and that's not their child and they're pissed. They can't let it go, I'm hearing. Like, they can't let that shit go, okay? Damn, yeah, there's a whole lot of drama going on in a karmic connection right now. And it's like, with the Ten of Swords here, someone was just like, man, like, you really just, somebody feels humiliated, somebody is heartbroken, someone feels betrayed, okay? And if it's not about a child, it's just like someone feels like they're dealing with somebody that's very immature, and they feel like whoever they're dealing with is, like, emotionally manipulates them. They feel they can't trust this person, okay? This could even be somebody at um, a distance, or this could be somebody that got into an argument while uh, traveling, or this is somebody that's trying to move into calmer waters and get the heck away away from whoever they've been dealing with okay somebody could have even been arrested while driving or arrested on a trip as well with the six of swords and the ten of swords okay somebody could have even passed away while they were traveling okay there's a lot of different scenarios here but anyways yeah somebody has a lot of regret okay they're ashamed and embarrassed about you know paying some change for something strange or they're they're in regret or ashamed or embarrassed for letting somebody uh, use them for money is what I'm getting. Okay. And somebody also could be upset, you know, for dealing with hoes, hoeing themselves out or doing something illegal when it came to making money. Okay. And it's like, they're facing some type of court judgment right now. <sighs> so with the eight of cups here, yeah, I feel like with the eight of cups, the four of pentacles in reverse, somebody is realizing that they cannot hold on to a situation, um, anymore okay somebody is realizing that their greed got them into trouble with the two of pentacles in reverse this is somebody that has been losing a lot of money within a karmic connection okay be it with a lover with a, with a work group whatever it is okay this is also somebody you guys walking away from a situation because you know that this person is not going to reciprocate and give you the time love and energy that you deserve okay with the ace of swords you know the truth already okay yeah, I feel like someone lost a lot of money and someone's looking at y'all to be Captain save -a okay? I feel like somebody is concerned because they were dealing with your copycat or your doppelganger, okay? So a stripper or dancer was in the mix and they're realizing it was all about money. It's like whoever, you know, your person could have been Community D or Community Poom Poom or whoever they were dealing with was, okay? And it's like this person with wolf in sheep's clothing, it says someone portraying themselves to be something that they're not. It's like this person here, you know, was definitely living a double or triple life with some of y'all okay or this person here wants to come back but they want to come back in disguise that's why the first card is the seven of swords you can't trust this energy no and then they still got crazy Carmisha or Quan, you know that's that's upset and ready to fight because you know some uh, I just somebody is they done lost it y'all they really done lost it but I see somebody trying to rush and make an action towards you to make amends okay with the full card and the two of cups this is somebody that's going to come back and tell you you know that maybe that they were a damn fool I doubt it because people got a lot of pride but I feel someone wants to come back and have a new beginning with you okay because this is somebody that really does love you and this could even happen over the next two months so what I'm seeing though is that you have to be careful because for some of you with the knight of swords and the justice card this is somebody that could be on the run from the law okay or this could be somebody here that feels like a fool because they know that they're facing some type of legal judgment okay that really could land them in jail and then to top it off, they're not going to tell you that they've been out there sleeping around doing the most and that they're burning, okay? They have an STD or STI. I feel like someone is stressed and pressed and they realize they shouldn't have been living a lie in a fake relationship and they were lying to themselves. That's what I'm seeing here and others, right? With the four of cups here, it's like, I feel this person could have rejected you in the past, but now this person feels like, you know, you don't want nothing to do with them. And this person here, for whatever reason, they can't stop thinking about you is pissing them off. Okay. And, um, they don't want to be rejected, but they keep watching you because they're addicted to you. Okay. They're addicted to your healing energy. Okay. 
because you guys are the motherfucking star. <laughs> so somebody rejected a star energy and now they're realizing that they were a fool. Okay, because with the nine of pentacles here, you guys are very abundant and be careful that someone's not trying to come back to try to take something from you. But I feel like whoever they were dealing with was draining them financially and somebody knows to heal things with you. They need to be single. Okay, and with the six of wands here, it's like this person knows that you have victory. You have success. You've been working hard. Okay, you've really been, um, you know, trying to elevate your life. Right. I feel like you guys have really just been trying to heal and find balance. And I feel like somebody here, you know, they. <sighs> They would do, they were dealing with somebody that would do anything for money or they were like that because somebody definitely could have been on OnlyFans here. Okay. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, there's some type of truth about a partnership that somebody had with somebody doing something risky for money. Somebody was thinking of a master plan. This is somebody that was entitled, selfish and greedy. And now they're regretting it because it's like whatever they did, is going to be public knowledge with that six of wands. Okay. And somebody could be a cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. And it's like everybody going to is going to talk about um, or is already talking about the things that these people have been doing is what I'm getting. Damn. And that's why with the God, and that's why now the six of wands is in reverse because whoever they were dealing with very well could be whatever they're doing. They could be very well known for it, but it's like they're, they're doing it, um, with dark intentions, right? So they're doing it out of greed. They're doing it out of lust, right? Or they could be doing something that the public would not agree with secretly. And I feel like that's what's being exposed here. And somebody feels defeated as well because you're not showing them any attention. It's like with the two of swords in reverse, the blindfold is off. You know the truth about somebody, right? And with the four of swords reverse, it's like they want to come back around um, because this person is restless. They can't sleep at night. But they already know with the six of swords in reverse that you don't trust them you feel it's a situation that you should not go back to and the six of swords reverse is an indicator for me of a situation you should not go back to okay um also somebody is upset that they went back around to somebody else who could have lied and said a child was theirs when it wasn't or they went back to somebody else that was childish or um or they were um giving all their money to a karmic third party or involved in something they shouldn't have been. And now they're losing a lot of money here. So it's like, they don't have anything to offer you and they're too embarrassed or ashamed to really talk to you right now. But their plan is to come back around at some point, but they just don't want to be rejected. That's what I'm seeing here. And with the Ace of Wands here, it's like someone is very passionate about you. They they have a plan. I'm hearing to get you back or they want to start something new with you, but they're not going to tell you about, you know, um, the people that they owe money to or, you know, the different things that people they were sleeping with or what they've been involved with. They're worried about you knowing that. And for some of you, it very well could be multiple people and one person could just be worried about, um, you know, whether if they come back, you guys will actually last if they try to have a new beginning with you. OK, but with the with down low lover here, like I already said about, you know, it could be, you know, someone here that is, you know, dealing with, you know, somebody that's bisexual or the same sex here. Someone could have found out somebody was smashing their homies. Yep. And it says you're not the father. The results are in. So somebody is pissed here. OK, yeah, they're pissed as hell. And it's like Carmisha or Kwan is pissed because this person doesn't want nothing to do with them anymore. OK, um, yeah. And it's I feel like, you know, addictions are in the mix, which is just adding to somebody's craziness over here. And with monetary gain and um, addictions, it's like somebody here uh, could even be selling drugs as well. I feel like somebody definitely was living a lie. They could have been scamming people together or they both were just stepping out or this could have been one of those weird poly relationships or something. Um, and it's like they both were just, you know, trying to get money together. OK, or they both were very money um, focused for some of you. For others of you, it's just like somebody here. <sighs> There's some type of revelation that's exposed that somebody got caught slipping here. So it's like somebody definitely had a one night stand or they've had strings of one night stands. OK, because somebody could have really been dealing with a hoe, whether it was a woman or a man. And it's like somebody you guys are just like, man, you're out. OK, you could have cut off all communication. It's like you don't want nothing to do with that energy. OK, and now somebody's realizing that they should have been with you because you're faithful, you're honest and you're loyal. OK, and whoever they're dealing with is, you know. It is, it's pretty much only there for money or for them to take care of them 
or um, it's just not real, right? It's not a, a connection where they actually feel like they're in love either. I feel like regardless, y'all are uh, bothered to the situation, but whoever this person is, baby, they got that wand for you, though. Like, somebody is real passionate about you, or they trying to grip you wand, they trying to get a hold of you, they trying to come over to your house, okay, the Herbic card, they trying to be indoors with you, but y'all feel like this person is an energy vampire, and you're not trying to be juggled, and you're not trying to be breadcrumbed either, and I feel like somebody might definitely have a problem hearing no if you were to tell them that, no, you're not trying to, you know, do something with them. Okay. And I feel like that might be the last straw for this person. Okay. Because this person's already very emotional. In reality, this person needs to heal. Okay. Cause with the ace of wands, the hermit and the six of pentacles, someone most definitely was paying, you know, for sex with somebody within a home. Okay. Or a business or wherever the hell they were at. Okay. So with the Knight of Pentacles here, I feel like you guys are waiting for somebody that is solid, that is loyal, okay, that can actually be honest and give you the type of partnership that you deserved, okay? Somebody that is reciprocal um, and wants what you want, right? So, woo, that's the tea, y'all. <laughs> put me some hearts down below. Um, yeah, woo, put me some, I don't even know some peace signs down below like somebody here needs some peace because this is so chaotic put me some champagne glasses because y'all gonna be celebrating i feel like y'all are just so unbothered and this is just the backstory of what somebody else is going through um and they're learning hopefully they will learn these different lessons so that they just don't have to keep repeating it with these people that they know they need to cut off so that's what i have for you guys love you guys namaste